Corrupt, Corrupted GM this week. Uh, I'm going to show you how to farm that Horrors Least, the Adept version. I've got a decent build for you today that'll see you right through this GM. Uh, all around Stasis, Hunter Revenant, Aegis Skepta and a couple of Arc weapons. Or you can literally control spawns like so. Excuse my shots there. Missed a couple there, but stay tuned. I've got a full build for you on how to sort of control these spawns of these annoying little lads and make this GM as easy as possible. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for watching the video. I've got a build for you today all around the Stasis Hunter and getting the best out of our Stasis weapons, Aegis Skepta, and also our Arc weapons. Plenty of weapons to choose from, arc weapons, we've got plenty of decent arc snipers about, Nezarix Whisper, that is absolutely brilliant with this build, I've got contingency plenty of a scout rifle, because I'm going to predominantly show you some gameplay of the Corrupted, uh, there's a lot of unstoppables in there, unstoppable scouts, really good for Storm Chaser, so it's all around Stasis, Revenant Hunter, and because I'm using arc weapons, I wanted to show you about the Mask of Bacchus, which is going to improve our arc damage, uh, quite significantly and it's a free sort of damage boost you can get all the time just by doing your dodge uh, corrupted this week is arc burn uh, obviously there's plenty of activities that do have arc burn in there as well from time to time so this is a build that's going to really suit arc burn sort of activities or it's that good you can run it in anything else you want even with solar burn if you like but obviously it's going to really improve your arc damage on weapons with Mask of Acris. So this is what it's based around. Replaces your Stasis subclass dodge ability while uh, with a longer range, faster moving shift that partially cloaks you, so it's like a blinking effect. And after shifting, after using your class ability, your arc weapons deal increased damage to combatants for a short time, and you also deal increased damage to all slurred or frozen combatants. So what it does when you dodge, you get a 10% increase to your arc weapons, which all stacks with high energy fire and things like that. So you're gonna get a nice 10% arc damage boost, and you're also going to do an additional 10% if that enemy is slowed. So a potential 20% damage increase with arc weapons. But the slowed part here, and you deal increased damage to all slowed or frozen combatants, that's 10%. The arc damage is 10%. So the slowed 10%, that doesn't apply just to arc weapons. The 10% applies to anything that's slurred so you could use any weapon and get the extra 10 percent on backwards it doesn't have to be arc just for that slurred bit so bear that one in mind so what it's based around it's based around elemental shards you can create loads of shards on the revenant subclass so every time we pick up these shards with this mod here it's going to turn them into elemental wells so every time we create shards we're going to pick them elemental wells up and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to run elemental charge so picking them up is going to make us charge with light and then on top of that, I've got charged up on, so we can get up to three times charge with light rather than two. So we can stack that charge of light up. Uh, and with elemental shards, like I said, you can create loads of shards on this subclass. So we constantly keep our charge with light going all the time. And then to take advantage of the charge with light, I'm going to run high energy fire to give us an extra 20% damage boost to all of our weapons. And then on top of that, when I pick these elemental shards up as well, I'm going to get a 25% boost to my stasis weapon. And then predominantly I'm running Aegis Skepta, but there's other sort of weapons you could run. Something new, something that's like a, another one you could run your purpose. Plenty of, scout, plenty of stasis weapons to choose from. So I've got some gameplay to show you. Uh, we're all working sort of together. Let me know what you think. So this is the loop of play. Freezing enemy. That's going to create elemental shards. I've got my arc weapon now, as you notice, uh, arc scout rifle, pick them shards up and on the bottom left you're going to see that I'm charged with light times two, that's all from a shard, I've got healing as well, and an overshield, and I've also got a stasis weapon boost, 25%, so it's, that is the loop of play that we need to do, just freeze an enemy, you can keep refreshing these boosts as well, you want to make any stasis weapon boost, you can keep refreshing as long as you're freezing and killing, and obviously Aegis freezes enemies on kill as well. So you can create an infinite amount of shards, and this is where it's really, really good at. Just controlling this elevator room in the first encounter. It is just super, super strong. It just makes things as easy as possible. Everything's slurred. Kill one of them acolytes, and literally everything else just freezes like so. Throw my dust field grenade down there, and that's going to 
enhance the slowing and everything like that and then you can see all them shards just waiting coming towards me healing me and giving me them boosts and we can add revitalizing blast to that with your unstoppable weapons and this with stasis this season is absolutely fantastic because what happens with the stasis in other seasons that we've had is stasis actually messes overloads up and everything like that but it actually works to our favor because you can just keep like so if you look on that bottom left you can just keep adding that re revitalizing blast because the stasis messes up the stun and it just keeps going over and over again and i've also got my mask of Bacchus there you see me doing my dodge so i'm going to get that nice extra damage on my arc weapons as well and this revitalizing blast you can just keep popping and popping and popping it'll just keep doing it over and over again as long as they're affected by stasis it's such a good fun sort of thing to use and there's another clip of my Bacchus just finishing sit here doing my dodge throw my super she's frozen so i'll get the arc damage and the frozen extra damage like i explained in the vid uh, so it's pretty pretty strong build all round i've got some more clips to show you as well coming up so this is the actual super the silence of the squall and this is really good for an as well for situations like this just trapping probably like what 15 20 enemies there like stuck there just trapped can't do all easy cleared all them shards are going to be there waiting for me to pick up which i'm going to go do watch my health watch the boosts all on my left hand side of my screen and watch my health go up look at this all that again that's a 25 percent damage boost font of might and i'm also stacking my high energy fire that'll work nicely with my other weapons as well my arc weapons a uh, couple of other weapons that we can try with this build anything arc because it's a bacris and i was using uh, Nezarick's Whisper and the exotic Hunter Glaive Edge of Concurrence and the Edge of Concurrence is really overlooked this season I've done a video on it but the Hunter Exotic Glaive Nezarick's Whisper like I said is really good I've got Demolitionist and Enhanced Adaptive Munitions on there really good but the Edge of Concurrence really really underrated this season and it's Unstoppable Glaive so we can proc that Revitalizing Blast as well and this is what it does so Aegis is slowing and freezing and what this does, look at this, it just little lightning bolt, little lightning bolt and it's killed five or six enemies, cleared half that's well more than half that spawn out. So don't overlook it if you've got it, it's pretty strong on this GM and like I said it is unstoppable and watch what it does here, watch the lightning effect from this and it's going to track the unstoppable, stop him and prop the revitalizing blast, watch this. Mental, it's killed like eight or nine enemies there, plus the... Uh, revitalizing blast from the lightning so I didn't even have to shoot him it's just the the chaining effect of it so yeah that's the build stay tuned I'm going to show you the fragments and the aspects on the build that I've got going so that's quite important but definitely give it a try thanks for watching stay tuned for the fragments right so this is the final part of the video I'm good I'll always leave a dim link in the video description anyway so you don't even have to listen to this bit if you don't want to but I have these set up a specific way for a very specific reason for this build and I run Touch of Winter, Grim Harvest. Grim Harvest is really important. That's the one that creates the shards whenever you slow or freeze combine. So that's going to create loads of shards. Uh, Touch of Winter, that enhances the dust field grenade that I'm running. And it also adds like a little stasis crystal in there. I'm also running Whisper of Hedrons because we can slow and freeze stuff all the time. You're always going to get that boost going with a recovery, mobility, resilience. I'm also running Whisper of Jorans. Slow from your abilities last longer. Uh, so basically it's a, obviously a mask of Bacchus build, I uh, want to be taking advantage of the slow extra damage that we get from the mask of Bacchus, so Whisper of Jorance is a nice fit. Whisper of Conduction and Whisper of Rhyme, they work really nice together, so all them stacy shards that you're seeing in the video, uh, they're going to sort of travel towards you, and for like end game stuff, the last thing you want to be doing sometimes is running out to them shards, putting yourself in danger. With this mod here, where, sorry, with this fragment here, that's going to make all them shards travel towards you, so you don't have to run out into danger. And then on top of that, with Whisper of Ram, they're going to heal you and give you a nice overshield as well. And obviously, with the shards that we're creating, uh, you're going to get like loads of other benefits that we've already talked about, the elemental shards. Uh, you're going to get the charged up, stack your high, uh, high energy fire, and you're also going to get like your font of might. So one shard's giving you quite a lot of sort of benefits and then the last one is whisper of shard shattering the stasis crystal 
temporarily boosts your grenade recharge rate and then if you shower additional crystals it also increases your duration so that is the setup i hope you've enjoyed the vid if you have let me know uh leave a comment a bit of feedback maybe f consider giving us a, a subscribe have a great day